Hey y'all, before we get to today's vlog, we wanna go ahead and tell you to please stick to the end of this vlog because we have a very important announcement. If you saw our last video, just a little hint, it goes hand in hand with that one, so you're gonna wanna hear it. All right, let's get going. I am all about this town, so. <laughs> Chris loves quirky little things I like love this. finding things like this, so let's go find some more. <laughs> We've got a pretzel. We're Chris and Sarah, a husband and wife traveling creative duo on a mission to experience as much in life as possible. Is this sticking to my hair? This channel is dedicated to documenting our adventures that will turn into memories that will last a lifetime. We're inviting you to join us as we try new things, meet new friends, and see the world from a new point of view, one adventure at a time. Let's go. Nestled against the eastern slope of Washington's Cascade Mountains is a little town called Leavenworth, Washington. But this isn't your typical small town. This one's made to look like a German Bavarian village. Or like you just stumbled into a life-size gingerbread village. Even your normal chain restaurants and grocery stores are given a German flair. The inspiration behind this odd creation? The mountain backdrop and the need to attract visitors to the area. Welcome to Leavenworth, Washington. Good morning from Leavenworth, Washington. We camped just outside town. So when we first got into town, we were greeted with this sign, coffee and biscuits. Yes. Got our coffees. All right, let's go explore. Welcome to Leavenworth, Washington. It's been a while since we featured a small town. I don't think we featured one since we've been back on the road in the van. But if you've been around for a while, you know we love visiting small towns. Some are cute, some are quirky, some are just really charming or maybe unheard of in the first place. Leavenworth, Washington is one of the quirky towns in America. We stumbled into this town about seven years ago on our bike tour. We were biking from Seattle and then Leavenworth was our first stop on our tour from Seattle to New York. And nobody gave us a heads up what we were biking into. We biked across the mountain and suddenly we were in this unusual Bavarian village. It completely caught us off guard. Today we're going to show you guys a little bit about Leavenworth. It's on the other side of the mountains about two hours outside Seattle and it's just quirky, so let's go. <laughs> he doesn't like that. <laughs> nope. <laughs> he doesn't want it. <laughs> so kitschy. Leavenworth? It's very kitschy, touristy, all that kind of thing, but it's still worth a stop because the mountains in here, in this area, are incredible. So still come, it's a good spot to go for a hike and grab a post-hike beer and pretzel, which is pretty much what our agenda is for today. <laughs> A weird demographic here you've got like a lot of senior citizens on like vacation like bus tour kind of things and then you have a lot of outdoorsy people like really outdoorsy you're here like hiking and climbing and paragliding there's some paragliders above us it's a funny quirky little mixture of people and <laughs> you can tell the locals from the tourists for sure <laughs> and like if you're into tourist traps if you're into things like the nutcracker museum Like, I'm all about just that. Like pretzels and beer. This may be the place for you. This may be the place for you. Please. So, oh, go ahead. No, I'm no, just no, saying, if you like, if you like going into a gift shop at the national park, this is this is your place. <laughs> <laughs> we actually know people who live in Leavenworth or in their surrounding areas, and it's actually a really great place to live. 
I'm not encouraging you to move here. It's, it's a small town, don't over, overdo it, but there's a lot to do in the area for livability's sake. We're not just taking a, we're not just knocking Leavenworth because it really is a great place. You've got the mountains, like the Cascades, including the Enchantments are really close to here. Um, it's just a lot of hiking, a lot of climbing, a lot of rafting in the summer, skiing in the winter. Stevens Pass has, is it Stevens Pass Ski Resort or what's it called? Mm, yeah, something like yeah, that. Yeah, there's a ski resort right up here. And so this kind of becomes like a ski town, a uh, ski resort in the, in the winter time. There's two times of year this town gets really popular. Oktoberfest, and then Christmas. They do a lot of Christmas lights and it gets really snowy and wintry. And that's really when the town's best. Oktoberfest has been canceled again this year. We've noticed some of the restaurants have like Oktoberfest specials going on, but as far as like the typical Oktoberfest party that happens here, it's not happening, which is fine. As long as they still have pretzels, I'm good. But just know those two things. I am all about this town, so. <laughs> Chris loves quirky little things I like love this. finding things like this, so let's go find some more. <laughs> So if you're looking for Christmas 24-7, 365, that's your place. You know, another place we should feature if we're doing Christmas, Frankenmuth, Michigan. Isn't that how you say it? Frankenmuth? The Christmas town. They have the largest Christmas store in America. Well, why in the world. We need to go. I'm hungry. You hungry? Yeah. Let's go eat. Got a pretzel. Okay. Well, we are carb loaded up for the day. We had our beer and our pretzel. I feel like we got our Leavenworth experience. Maybe we'll come back in the winter and see the Christmas lights. This concludes our time in Leavenworth, Washington. If you have been to Leavenworth and you know that we missed something while we were here, drop it in the comments below. Let us know what we missed. And if you haven't been to Leavenworth, it's worth a stop. I mean, in the winter you've got skiing and in the summer you have amazing hiking and rafting. We haven't done rafting here yet, but we need to. So give us suggestions. I'm sure we'll be back. We love Washington. We come back pretty much every year. Okay, it's the end of the video. It's time for the announcement. So last week, you all filled out a survey for us and you guys really delivered. We had a lot of responses and today we're going to share with you guys the most popular answer we got. It's the trip that we're going to be taking some of y'all on in 2022. Do you want to tell them? Should we do a drum roll? Yeah, drum roll please. Next year we are going to Iceland. Iceland. So this trip is in the process of finalizing the prices and the exact dates, but just know this, it'll be in 2022 and we will have 15 spots. Only 15 people get to go on this trip, which seems like not a lot. I think the, some of the larger tours we're looking at had the potential to hold like 20 people. So 15 is not a ton, but it's just the nature of Iceland. We're really excited about this. Hopefully the exact details will be locked down later this week and be finalized and fully announced to you guys next, the following week. So within like the next week or two. So if you're in the least bit interested in going to Iceland with us, the people who are on the email list will be the first people to know the second it goes live, which will be in the next few days. Um, so the email, the link to get to the email list is right down below. And we'll also go ahead and link to the exact itinerary of the trip. I'm, I say the exact, but I think there's a few things that may change, but the itinerary includes like the day to day, what would be happening on the trip, what's included, what's not included, um, as well as like the hotels that we'd be staying at and that kind of stuff. So if you want to learn more information,
information about what all the trip would include, it is going to be down below with the email list. So on the trip, we're going to be offering some very informal workshops on vlogging and how to create memories while you're traveling abroad. It's going to be a lot of fun. So whether you have a full camera setup like we have, or maybe you just have an iPhone or an Android, hopefully this will help you out. We're just going to give you guys some tips and tricks of how we capture things, what our routine looks like, and whatever camera you have, bring it along. And we will do our best to help you figure out how to capture good memories. So anyway, we are really excited about Iceland. <laughs> really excited. This has been a bucket list item for a long time. So before the trip goes live, if you guys want to go check out what Iceland is about and the tour, like I said, all the information is down below and a little bit of inspiration. We highly recommend going to watch The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. That's one of our favorite movies for storytelling and inspiration for adventure. And a lot of it is shot in Iceland. All right. So today is Sunday, October 24th, 2021, 2021 and we are going to Iceland in 2022. So the list will probably most likely go live this upcoming Friday. Mm -hmm. So what is that, like the 20 or the 30th? No, is it the 30th? this would be 29th, wouldn't it? <laughs> Friday's the 29th. Why should I have to check that? Yes, Friday okay. is the 29th. <laughs> so the list will most likely be going live October 29th. Spots will probably go fast, so you want to make sure that you're signed up. We only have a limited availability, and we want you there. Yeah, so hopefully we'll see some of y'all there. Stay right. tuned. See you guys. Bye. Be sure to follow along on Instagram and like and subscribe here. It really helps creators like us.